Hey, this is Chris Orr of the Orminators. Uh, welcome back to my channel. And <clears throat> I haven't done one of these in a while. I've been doing a lot of overlanding stuff, but now that the winter is here and, or fall and winter is here and it's gone, gotten, gotten kind of cold and rainy outside, uh, I thought I'd go ahead and get back into a little bit of the, the cabinet videos here. Uh, stay inside a little bit anyways. And what I did is um, I got an email from Arcade1Up saying that the uh, Terminator 2 cabinets are on pre-sale. So I went ahead and ordered one of those. So in January, maybe February, depending on supply chain issues, uh, that'll be in and we'll do a review of that one. But while I was on the website, I saw that the uh, Legacy Edition uh, with the uh, the Atari Legacy Edition was in. Uh, so I went ahead and uh, scored one of those. Now you can see here that the cabinet itself has uh, got kind of a cool shape, a little bit different than your traditional Arcade 1UP cabinets here. It's still got the little nameplate on there. So we're gonna go ahead and unbox this thing. Um, get it built. I was hoping that my At Games Tetris cabinet would also be in, and then I could actually do a side-by-side -side sort of build and comparison. Uh, but since that won't be in until next week, I'm going to go ahead and do this one, post this video. But in the meantime, enjoy this, uh, this build and uh, real quick review. So here's the cabinet, unboxed but still unassembled. As per usual, the, the graphics... And the construction are pretty good. I really do like those, uh, how bright those colors are. It is a light up marquee, which is nice. There's the control deck. Now I know a lot of you are gonna be complaining about the, uh, uh, the spinner here, but it is noticeably better than the one that came with, um, uh, with the asteroids counter over there, so. So that's nice, but uh, there might be some upgrade poss possibilities there, and you can the, the trackball there. The screen, almost disappointingly, is kind of plain. Uh, on the Mortal Kombat one, it's got a, some uh, some graphics there, not just a, a plain arcade one-up logo there. And the same kind of goes for the stand. I mean, the side panels are nice. But the side panels, once you start putting machines next to each other, they start to obviously turn invisible, right? And so now you've got this giant Atari logo there. Unlike, unlike the Mortal Kombat one, which at least has a nice kind of subtle, but it's there, Mortal Kombat symbol there. So for example, that MK2 symbol there looks real nice and everything else, but once you've got the, another machine standing next to it, all of that goes away. And maybe that's a, I've got a lot of machines problem. It's, it's an interesting one to think about anyways. I do like the front graphics. So let's go ahead and get to building this thing. That is so satisfying.
screen. Startup logo. for the base. It's all about the base, baby. You know, they tell you not to use a power drill, a power screwdriver on these things, but most of your modern ones are adjustable. You can actually take it nice and slow, you don't have to worry about over torquing it. Just take it easy. Don't go nuts. See how nice and slow that was? You do not have to go full set. makes it a little bit easier on some of these longer, longer screws. Then I guess it's a matter of where I want the front to be. Like butter. I will say this about Arcade One Up. They've got their templates down pat. Everything fits together beautifully. There's the base, all built up. You can see. Some good quality MDF there. Everything screws together real nice and it's got some holes that will allow me to uh, screw the, uh, the actual cabinet into that so it doesn't flop over. So there it is. I love the light up marquee. It does give that impression that that's actually a speaker there, but obviously it's not. You saw me put the, the speakers up there, uh, underneath there. Trackball, all the buttons. The cabinet is built just as if it was the Tempest Arcade, which is fine. You can see all the buttons there, but obviously it's also going to be able to play Missile Command and all the other games that are there. So I'm going to be putting it over there next to the uh, Mortal Kombat machine there. And uh, yeah, we'll show you what it looks like when it's all set up. And there is the Tempest or the Atari Legacy Edition next to the Mortal Kombat and obviously there's going to be some significant differences in the cabinet itself you can see that the Mortal Cabinet kicks out a little bit there and other folks have, have noted that when you are standing here and you're playing the game and you're close enough to hit the buttons um, the top part of the screen disappears under there and you have to kind of crouch in order to kind of see the entire playing field, which is uh, which is entirely true there. So there's that. 
Now the Tempest, however, you can see, uh, does, you don't have that problem. Or the, uh, the uh, Atari Legacy Edition does not have that particular problem. So that's pretty nice. The deck is a little bit further back and is probably a good, a good inch or so higher. So for taller people, it actually would probably be a little bit uh, nicer to play there. But uh, otherwise, side by side, they are quite attractive. And then you can see the uh, the countercades there for uh, for size comparison, uh, and the Star Wars the Star Wars pinball there as well. So, well, thank you very much for watching me uh, build this thing and kind of compare the two together. Um, the the At Games Tetris cabinet just came in, and I'm actually going to be uh, pulling that out of the box also, but that will be a different video. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to be making some comparisons between the At Games Tetris cabinet and the um, the Legacies, as well as the Generation 1 Arcade 1-Up cabinets. Now, one thing I will note is that this cabinet does come with Asteroids and Tempest, which do come with the Generation 1 Asteroids cabinet. You can see there, Tempest and Asteroids. But the only reason I don't want to get rid of the this particular cabinet here is largely because of Lunar Lander. When I was a kid, uh, the only copy of that machine that I ever saw was at the uh, Circus Circus on the Strip in Las Vegas. And so that was one of my very, very favorite games because I was heavy into space and science fiction and everything else, and so I thought that was pretty cool. So um, even though two of those those uh, games are are duplicated on the uh, Atari Legacy, uh, Legacy Edition, um, Lunar Lander, however, is not. And so I'm going to be keeping that cabinet probably just for that game. So... And you can see uh, some of the other games that I have here. My collection is uh, almost complete here. I do have the Terminator 2 cabinet on pre-order. That should hopefully be here in January. And uh, yeah. In the meantime, let's get that at cabinet built up. And let's uh, do a little comparison video as well. Thank you for watching. Like, share, subscribe, comment. Uh, what, what other cabinets you'd like me to uh, to test out or to build up and uh, and yeah let's uh, let's keep this rolling.